Hello my soul lovers, it's Empire333 here with your love weekly reading. Welcome back, welcome if you're new. Thank you for all those of you who sent me sweet messages and offered your condolences. I really appreciate it. It's very sweet of you all. Um, so let's get into messages that I'm getting first, okay? So we all know that it's 222, so that is uh, a gateway, okay, that's opening up for the collective. Um, when I say collective, it's basically Twin Flames, um, Feminine and Masculine Collective, okay? So um, there is a, a gateway opening up, and this is going to um, give some people activations is what my guides are saying. So some of you might be activated, okay? Nothing to be scared about. Um, you might, so <clears throat> my guides are saying you all might get um, swirlies in your head, okay? So sometimes what happens is like, um, in your head space, you kind of feel like things are like moving around or like you're getting swirlies. That's what, I mean, that's the best way I could explain it. Or it could be, um, for some of you, you'll get a tingling feeling, okay? Call it what you will, but you'll know. Um, and this is for um, the collective, to help the collective further evolve and um, get Take the next steps with their purpose, what they're here to do, and so forth, okay? Um, another thing that's coming up is the feeling. Some of you feel very different, and you're realizing that more and more when you are, like, put in, um, put in an environment with other people or new people or people you haven't seen for a long time, and for some of you, it's it's feeling awkward, like you feel awkward, okay? Or you feel like, you know, everybody thinks I'm weird and whatnot, you know? Um, so they want me to bring up an example because I've always felt weird all my life, okay? And I know people, whether they admit it or not, they've always thought I was weird. I have always thought I was different ever since I was a kid. Like I just did not belong here like that. And you know, you know that could just be the star seed in me, but I knew I was different. I did not like things that other people like or enjoy other things that people enjoyed. I knew I was different. Um, and growing up, like people just did not understand me. They didn't get me. Okay. So some of you might feel like that. Um, and I understand exactly how you feel. You kind of feel alienated is what spirit is saying. Well, this is just about you. Um, for, for some of you, it's like you really want to find your tribe. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like some of you are not here to be within a tribe. Okay. So what I, what I mean to say with that is your immediate environment, which is like the people you spend time with, you know, daily, weekly friendship circles or social circles. You, some of you are not meant to do be like that. Some of you are meant to just be on your own with like a few people. It could be like your, you know, lover, spouse, um, close-knit friends. And you're supposed to do this. I don't want to say on your own. That's not what they mean. But with your guides, okay? So you might, you might feel like, okay, why haven't I found my people or that kind of stuff, okay? And that's what we as, you know, um, call it what you will, teachers here, like as such as myself or whoever is on YouTube, that's why you feel a sense of belonging through the um, internet. So it doesn't have to be face-to-face, -face, okay? It doesn't have to be physical, um connections okay which i w when i say that i mean people you go out with or people you you know um hang out with okay it doesn't have to be like that everyone has a different way okay that has a lot to do with what your purpose is what your path is supposed to be so some of you you might be feeling very lonely you think everybody thinks i'm weird don't feel like that okay 
I've been through it and I just want to tell you they want me to share this example and I think it's hilarious okay because before I used to feel super weird okay but now I'm just like okay I'm weird all right I'm weird I'm different um, I'm calling it unique okay <laughs> so um, it's looked upon a little differently but I'm already um, very comfortable in my skin okay so I want to tell you guys a story because I, I found it like super funny um, so I went hiking um, I think it was last week and um, I was just like going like up and down there's like all these trees and it's beautiful and then I came through this space that was narrow and some two like senior women were like blocking the, my path and I was like, you know, re going really fast um, and they were blocking my path because they had stopped and they were looking at like the trees or the flowers. I don't remember. They were looking at something like very, um, like observing something and they were blocking my path. And here, there I was alone, you know, physically, right? I was like talking to my guides, conversating, whatever. And so when I passed by, I was like, okay, I'm not going to let this stop me. So I kind of like, just like went like, you know, charging through them. And I was like, excuse us. <laughs> and then they looked at me like, what? You're alone. Like, what do you mean? Excuse us. And I thought it was so hilarious because here I am having a conversation in my head with my guides and there they are. And then I was just like, just like instinctually, I just said, excuse us, not excuse me. And I thought that was hilarious. So, but what I want to say is that in the past, I might have, you know, in a, not in the same situation or scenario, I would have, you know, maybe felt like, oh no, like this person thinks I'm weird or whatever. But now I'm just used to it and I'm owning it. Okay. There's nothing wrong with being different. There's nothing wrong with being weak. I mean, being, um, okay, Mercury retrograde in full effect. There is nothing wrong with being different, unique, or weird, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and your guides said they love you for that, okay? <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Um, just accept that some of us are not here to... Um, to basically like, how should I say it? Some of you are feeling that certain people in your life, you can't hang out with them anymore because they just don't get you. They just don't understand your spiritual path. They don't understand, you know, um, that you um, talk to guides or they don't understand your healing processes. They're just not going to understand and we need to accept that, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, your guides are always with you. You're never, 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 never alone, okay? Keep that in mind. So um, what else am I missing? Anything else? Nope. Okay. So let's get into the reading. I'm going to use this deck, Quantum Oracle. Um, they didn't want me to use the heart sigils this time, so they want me to use this, okay? All the links are below. So what I'm getting with the, they want to talk about the masculine collective first, okay? So with the masculine collective, um, some of you are really waiting for this like fresh new beginning with your masculine, okay? But what the masculine is going right now, through right now, is that they're really reflecting and it has to do with Mercury retrograde. You all know that Mercury retrograde is about, um, you know, nostalgia, reminiscing, all these feelings come up, things that you thought were buried, you know, in the past, like things are coming up. And the masculine, okay, so while the feminine, okay, most feminines are, um, the, the I'm picking up on certain groups, guys, I don't pick up on all groups, okay, so the group I'm picking up on is they're waiting for their masculine to have this new fresh beginning it's like they want to start fresh they want to leave things in the past but the issue here is that the masculine is going through um <coughs> excuse me um a standstill okay is what they're saying and let me tell you why they're going through the standstill okay 
some of them are realizing that the intention of the connection, okay, they're going back to the past and thinking about what's going on. Sorry, guys, I keep getting interrupted. I feel like the masculine is also getting interrupted at this time. So this is a time for the masculines to really um, realize what their intentions are when it comes to this connection, okay? But I feel like the masculines are getting um, interrupted with like, obligations, duties, responsibilities, um, how should I say this? So the masculine is trying to, the masculine collective is trying to um, think about what it is that is keeping from this connection to start again, like a fresh start, okay? But at the same time is that they're not realizing their power and it's because they're thinking okay this is like what they're thinking so they're stuck at this okay and some of them are remembering the things that you said to them for the fe feminine collective they're remembering what the feminine um said to them when it comes to um certain things about like what it is that you want so wanting is an intention okay so certain things are coming to the masculine's mind that the feminine did say and then they're trying to evaluate the situation in a deep level because this has to do with hidden motivations right so these are things that are not clear and so they're thinking about what their intention is at the same time thinking about what the feminine intention is okay because some of you i have to say the energy i'm picking up on is like it's like you possibly wanted a commitment with the masculine but really did not say it or speak it okay and it's because you were scared that they're gonna run as soon as you mention like something serious or whatever that's the energy i'm picking up for a group of you okay um, when it comes to your masculine, it's like your masculine never, for the same group, your masculine never said like, okay, um, this is what we're going to do. This is the next step or whatever. Okay. So they're really trying to focus on right now, um, what the real intentions of this connection are. Okay. Because they need to really, um, establish Okay, like, a, how should I say it? Okay, this is because what Spirit is saying, it's because Saturn is in the skies, okay? Saturn has also to do with commitment, okay? And it's any type of commitment structure um, that has to do within um, the, the earthly plane, okay? So because of that, it's like, intentions need to be clear they need to be clarified and structures need to be put in place of okay what is your intention this is my intention okay and some of your masculines they don't even know what they want and it's because they think of it as um okay the masculine idea of this connection is um How should I say this? Okay, this is going to sound kind of off, okay? But it's like the masculine depends on their feminine to speak what the structures need to be, okay? But right now, they're focusing on what their intention is in their mind, in their heart space, okay? Um, what their desires are about this connection, taking it to the next level, or perhaps beginning all over again, starting from scratch, okay? But at the same time, like I said, you know, that was cute. They keep getting interrupted with 
other things, okay? And it has also to do with priorities because they're right now, they're stuck in the past, okay? They're stuck in the past and that's why they don't feel powerful, okay? Um, they're not living in the present. They're stuck in the past and they're super worried about the future. So they're not taking the steps right now, okay? They're not taking the necessary steps. Uh, steps and that has to do with them going back and forth between their intuition and looking at how things panned out in the past between you two, okay? But this also has to do with other things that are going on within their life because it has to do with structure, okay? This year is going to be the biggest change of structure, okay? And that has to do with Saturn. It Things are going to change around. Even you'll see organizations, government, like so many things are going to be changing on a global scale, okay? And it's to reestablish things. So they just showed me like the tower, okay? You know, in the original Rider Waite, the tower, it's like crumbling down. It's being destroyed. So it's like it has to be destroyed and rebuilt all over again, okay? So that's what the theme is. But at the same time, the masculine is stuck in their intentions. Like, what is it? Okay, why? Like, it's like they want to take responsibility. They're trying to take responsibility, okay, for um, whatever pain that they've caused the feminine. But at the same time, they're trying to they're trying to think about okay, so. Um, I'm going to take responsibility, for example, well, let's say I apologize, let's say I want to make things straight, but I'm still stuck in the past. And this doesn't have to be with the feminine, okay? It's not only with the feminine. This has to do with past. This could be childhood. This could be another relationship from the past. So they're stuck in the past. And at this time, they're having a lot of dark thoughts, Okay, negative mentality. So they need to come out of this. And I feel like they're going through some type of a storm right now when it has to do with their um, mental body, okay? And I just got that some of them are having issues with, um, like it's psychosomatic. Um, so basically they're overthinking. They're having a lot of negative dark thoughts about the future. Okay. And the present too, because if somebody lives, okay, so this is what I want to say. If somebody is living in the present, the past is already gone. You can't change it, right? They don't care about the past. They don't worry about the future either because that's anxiety. So Right now, the masculine connective is having anxiety, and that is showing up in their pain body. That's what I want to say. Their pain, it's like the emotional pain body, okay? So feminines, if you're the one who's watching right now, you might feel pains, okay? And it has to do with your masculine. And the pains, if you feel it, it's on your right side, okay? So you might feel like right arm pain, right shoulder, um, right leg, foot, whatever it is, okay? So make sure you really work on your healing process at this time. Energy healing is very good for that. Um, mantras too. Mantras, healing mantras are very good. Okay. So because the, the masculine is in dark thoughts, the universe is having issues getting through. Okay. But what I'm feeling through this... Um, through this energy of this card is that the universe is trying to get in the divine, um, call it what you will, spirit is wanting to get through, but they haven't been getting through because of this dark thought. So it's like, um, this has been blocking. So you see it's a maze, right? Because the masculine has been in this for some quite some time, okay? This maze. But the universe has been trying to get through to him. Know that the, the universe, there's divine forces at work with this connection, okay? With your connection, know that. But 
right now what they're saying is the 222 gateway is opening up and it's going to be easier for the masculine to receive all the guidance and it's because of some sort of activations so there is divine intervention at play because of this gateway and a lot of you are um, wondering you know basically like why are they ignoring me why have they ghosted me um, they're in isolation they need to be in isolation because they're not ready they have to figure things out this is the path of discovery okay and they have to you see how he's holding up possible gold <laughs> You see how shiny it is? This is like the Hermit card in, um, this reminds me of the Hermit card. Like they're on the path of self-discovery. They're discovering things about themselves and they need to know. You need to know yourself to be able to sustain a, um, you know, a commitment, a relationship that is healthy and happy, okay? You need to know themselves. So now they're on a path of self-discovery. They're realizing who they are so now they're realizing they're going back. So so what I, they're showing me is like backtracking. Like, okay, wait, I said this to her and it was because of this. Like that kind of feeling. And, you know, genders do not matter. I'm just giving you guys an example of what it is, okay? <clears throat> because that this is how they feel right now. Um, This is the Illuminati deck. This flew out, so I want to just take it. Wow, I'm having a really bad hair day, guys. It's raining here. It's so humid. <laughs> I'm just realizing how bad my hair looks. But this is about mental entrapment. So they're in their thoughts. But I feel like this energy is, is um, I don't know, it's ending soon. I feel like... So my guys just said it will end as soon as they figure themselves out. They figure out who they are. And what role they play in your life, okay? What role the masculine plays in the feminine's mask. So this is also about um, role playing. Oh, so this is what I wanted to say with this card. You see the hermit. You know how the hermit has the merkaba in the little lantern um, that he holds up? So this is the same thing. It's the star, right? So... This is about them figuring, figuring themselves out at this time. Like, um, who am I? What is my? In, what are my real intentions with this connection? What are my intentions in life in general? What do I want? Because I've been I've been told what I want all my life. It's that kind of an energy. Okay. So the masculine has been controlled with their environment. They were a product of their environment, how they grew up, with their families their religious values, call it what you will, their social circles. People always told them who they are. And now they're trying to discover themselves because they're realizing that, hey, I feel controlled. I am controlled by the past. I want to break the shackles, okay, because I have no control of my life. Other people are controlling me. Other situations have controlled me all this time. And I need to stop living in the past. So the masculine is looking for an outlet, okay? I'm going to get into the feminines, guys. So I hope you you are, are not annoyed. But my guides really wanted to talk to the, about the masculine um, perspective first, the energies, okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. closed off so this go okay two and two oh my god that's crazy two and two is what my guides are saying and it has to do with two 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 so this is about the masculine holding back their heart uh possibly their money too um spending their money their time their attention giving this connection that and they're realizing this, okay, um, throughout this reflection that they're going through. And they're also realizing the more they've held back, the more that it's, it's kind of messed them up. 
okay? That's what I'm feeling from that collect. Like, the more I hold back, the more I'm messed up. So some of your masculines feel like they're very lucky with the feminines, okay? They feel like they're lucky. They feel that um, they didn't know your value, okay? So it's like now they're thinking about this is, again, this is... Um, This is about structure. This is about investment. This is about gains, okay? And this is about home, okay? This is about comfort. And the masculines are now realizing, like, how am I comfortable? How am I, how do I feel? Like, this is manifestation too because this is the Midas touch, okay? The king of pentacles has the Midas touch. So now they're trying to figure out how do I open myself up to this, okay? Because I've been closed and now I realize it, how closed I've been. And what I'm getting from this card, it's like their eyes are opening up, okay? So their eyes are finally opening up to certain things that they did not see before, okay? So which is telling me that, in fact, there will be this activation with the masculine collective with this gateway of 222 what does this mean this does not mean on 222 you know the masculines are going to basically change overnight no that means that they are there's a gateway that's going to open up their eyes to certain things from the past that they've been holding on to um, certain patterns that need to be broken, which is also Saturn, okay? Because Saturn is about change, it's about structure, it's about um, <sighs> two of cups, okay? My feminine is all they're thinking about is sharing their cup. This is cute. This is so cute. So the feminine collective has to understand that the masculine collective is always slower, okay? And they keep referring back to Saturn because Saturn slows down things because slower things are more solid, okay, than faster things, okay? Nobody wants fleeting energy. Do you know those people that they meet and like, I'm just going to give it a scenario, okay? Those people that meet and like three months later they're married, okay? And then they divorce or they break up or they start having a lot of marital issues. It's because of the energy. It's because Mars was at play. And Mars is very like charge, go forward, like, you know, you know, like a rocket, right? But Saturn, Saturn brings structure, okay? Saturn brings structure, brings balance, brings something that is very um, grounded, okay? So that's why it's slow. So some of you, okay, um, I feel are thinking about if you're, this is for a small group who are married or have a commitment, are thinking about, breaking up okay that's what I feel and it's because you feel like you've been waiting way too long for your masculine to um, take the necessary steps to make this connection work okay um, this is interesting so with the feminine collective what I'm getting is that some of you are going between, um, you're listening to your intuition and having faith that all things will work out for your best, between that and like not feeling, uh, you know, um, emotionally fulfilled, not feeling um, like your desires are being met, okay? So you keep going back and forth with that um, is what I'm seeing. Like, okay, well, I, I, my wishes are not co not coming true. I've been waiting for such a long time. I'm doing everything that's right. 
So some of you keep going back and forth with that imbalance of energy. And be patient. <laughs> they said be patient. Oh my God. When they say be patient, I feel like, okay, um, yeah, I, I know that's like the, some of, for some people, that's the most annoying word that you can say, right? I feel ya. So what they're saying with this justice card too is that some of your masculines are going through um, a divorce or a settlement, something to do with the justice system, okay? That will um, kickstart the process of them discovering themselves, okay? Because this is a contract, so keep that in mind, that that is a karmic contract. Whatever they're going through, some of them I do feel like it's a settlement. Maybe it's workers' comp, I'm getting workers' comp. Um, okay, yeah, some of you are just waiting on news. You know what your masculine is going through, and I feel like the the feminine just wants communication okay and some of you it's like it's been so hard for you to um endure this because your masculine is not speaking to you okay so i feel like some of you will get some news from the masculine Some of you, um, things are being hidden from you about this case, okay? And it's for you not to worry. It's for you for your highest good, okay? So some of you might get news that, you know, like I can't do this right now. I feel that kind of energy. And I do feel like a, like a stubborn energy too for some of you, like, you're just running out of patience, okay? <laughs> Let's be real. This is this is the feminines. The feminines are completely running out of patience, okay? They're sick of the healing process. They feel like they've done all that they can, and it's still so things are did slow down, yes, because of the planetary alignments right now, the planetary transits, okay? And this has to do with the universe. So instead of <clears throat> feeling frustrated and impatient, what we need to do is <clears throat> focus on ourselves, focus on our own structures. Oh, okay. Focus on your own structure, your daily routine, your structure, um, how you can build things or rebuild things that were once, you know, um, you let go of or you put to the side, okay? Because this has a lot to do with balance. And yeah, patience. Patience, my friends. <laughs> so I'm going to pull a card from the Spirit Oracle. Oh, and what I just did, this one is the Witch's Tarot, okay? This is interesting. Someone wants to buy a new car here, and they're trying to figure out to buy an SUV or not. I don't know what that means. They just said, get out of your comfort zone. So some of you might be really... It's like you need an SUV or vice versa, or you need a car, whatever. You need a car, but you don't want to come out of your comfort zone because you're used to whatever car type you're driving. So take it how it resonates. What do you need? Go with that. Huh. See, guys? Intention. Like we got double. I feel like you both at this time, both the masculine and the feminines, 
are really thinking about what their intentions are. And what I'm feeling with this energy is that both of you have not really um, made your intentions clear to the universe. Like you haven't said it out loud, okay? You have not um, verbally spoken this, okay? So I'm going to go over this. Oh, so this is what they're saying before... Um, you know the intention you have when you, you know, fall in love or whatever it, is, it was in your connection. Um, it's like when you just, you know, start with somebody or whatever, where you just know this person is the one and you have different intentions, but then you go throughout the relationship and there you start feeling lack and then your intentions kind of change is what I want to say. Then you're like, okay, well, they don't spend time with me, you know, uh, four times a week, or they don't do this for me, they don't do that for me. So it starts going into your ego. Then your ego is like, kind of starts, you know, manifesting in default. Okay, you feel you get into lack of consciousness is what they're saying. Okay, so this card is about. Let me read this off to you. Do not lose sight of your original intention. Check inside your heart to see if the path you are traveling fits in with your original hopes and aspirations. If not, take action, take control, and steer your life back on course. Okay? So I feel a lot of you kind of fell off, not literally, but kind of fell off the intention of what this connection is about. And it's like, <coughs> excuse me, I'm in sense overflow. Um, so this has to do a lot with what your intentions were from the beginning and not, okay, so they're saying don't focus on the lack of it. Don't focus on the lack of the masculine, not in your life if they are not right now. There's physical separation for a lot of you. Do not focus on the lack of anything, even coming from the masculine perspective, okay, or whoever, the feminine perspective, whoever is watching the opposite of that, right? Um this is about the intention. They want you to realize the intention you had from the beginning. From the get-go, what is your intention of getting back with the masculine if you're not with them? What is your intention if you're with them and you want to take it to another level? Say it out loud, okay? And own it. So to those of you, whoever puts intentions, whoever manifests things, okay? This is for you. When you speak... Speak from your heart what it is that you want. Don't speak from your mind. Do not speak from your ego. When you're doing magic or manifestation work, always speak from your heart. What does your heart want? Okay. Don't say like, oh, I want, I want, you know, I don't know, the house up on the hills with my masculine or whatever, you know, things like that. Say what your heart wants. From them okay how you want to share love what kind of love is it that you want to share together right somebody got like a kind of like a bob cut and it's really cute that's what I'm seeing <laughs> somebody cut their hair and they feel so strange because they cut their hair and they haven't cut it for a long time. But I think it looks cute, whoever you are. Yes, telepathy, telepathy. This is dreaming of you. I think we got this last time. You guys, the telepathy is super strong right now, okay? So you might be dreaming of your person, your counterpart. Um... This is like... There's a lot of reflection at this time right now because of Mercury retrograde. So keep that in mind. You might be triggered, okay? You might have all these emotions coming up. And just, it's okay. Just cry, okay? Just cry. Some of you really, really miss your person. And know that you can connect to them in the ether, okay? You can connect with them 
in the ether, astral planes, other planes. Call it what you want in your visions, okay? And know that um, the flame, okay, is always together. The flame is always together, okay? Because they're a part of you. You understand? Um, the love is so strong that they're a part of you and you're a part of them, okay? So know that. Um, yeah, I'm getting some people feeling super sensitive at this time because you are dreaming about your person. Um, this is silver vibrations, okay? So, like I said, there are activations going on. This is about silver, silver starlight. This is about stars, okay? So, some of you star seeds uh, might be feeling like that you're being directed to a certain direction, okay? You're being activated, and it's like you're kind of leaning towards a different direction. Something keeps coming up. So if things come up in threes, know that that's your guides telling you, like, um, this is where you're supposed to head. Like, this is, they're guiding you, basically, to your next step, okay? Know that. Um... I see a masculine looking at pictures in their phone. Um, some of you, I don't know who this is for, but went to an Asian restaurant and you took pictures there and they're, they're, they're looking at those pictures now. Okay. There is a flame inside your heart, a light that stems from the dawn of time. Ancient love and ancient knowledge are being rekindled. Close your eyes, connect with, and feel the loving wisdom you hold. Let it flow out of your heart, from your heart, and transform your life. This is about accepting um, and realizing that the love you both share is very ancient, okay? This is not only about, this is knowledge is awareness, okay? Knowing that whether you're together or apart, you still have that flame inside your heart. And your mask, okay, so this is what I want to say. Um, for the, you know, people who resonate with the Twin Flames, okay, the Twin Flame Collective, You've known each other for over thousands of years, okay? Some of you are super ancient souls, okay? So keep that in mind that whatever is going on in the physical does not reflect the flame that the, okay, so how should I say, the love that you both share, okay? It does not reflect that. So just keep that in mind. And you know love comes in different ways. So if you got, you know, um, ghosted or ignored or being ignored by your masculine, know that that is a form of love too. Just like how I always say, my guides are about tough love, right? Um, my guides are about tough love and they know that love comes in different ways, okay? That's what I believe because that's what my guides tell me. That love is not always, you know, butterflies and, you know, rainbows, okay? Love is your masculine letting you go because you, if you're a feminine, because you don't love yourself, because you don't value yourself, and that's why they don't value you. And there's so many red flags that come up during your connection where you're supposed to let go, feminines, but what happens is your masculine lets go of you, and it's because that is love. Because your masculine soul would not want you not to love yourself. Your masculine soul would not want you to um, not value yourself. Okay, so that's why they ghost you. That's why they ignore you. Because it's like, you need to love yourself. That's what they want. Because their soul wants the best for you. That's love. Okay, and sometimes you keep going back to the same person that becomes toxic and it could be they, they abuse you or they um, discourage you or they, they're mean to you. They, you know, they call you names. They, um, 
they don't prioritize you. They keep you like a, you know, the fourth, fifth wheel and you still go back to them. And the reason is, is because you don't love yourself. You don't value yourself. And that's why you get ghosted. That's why you get ignored. Okay. That's the only way because you're holding on to them for dear life. And so that's why it happens. That's still love, guys. I hope you know that. That's still love. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes, so um, I'm going to do it this way. Allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions. Yes, stand tall in your sense of self and in your own truth. This is about your sense of self, loving yourself, okay? Being yourself and still loving unconditionally. The healing power of love will help you burn through an illusion and you will discover new possibilities. This is a powerful time of transformation, ideas, and creativity. So this is about you doing you, okay? Whoever's watching, because as the masculine is transforming, so is the feminine, okay? So that's why they're saying this is a powerful time. I know that 222 is a very special day. Like I've been getting it. <clears throat> I wonder if you guys are getting 222. Let me know in the comments, but this is really special. And if you if you guys have been feeling any way lately, let me know. I feel like some of you are also feeling lethargic, okay? So you could be like super tired, you don't want to get out of bed. Things like that also besides like the swirlies in your head. Let me know, guys, because it could start between before 222. It doesn't have to start exactly the date of and it could even start after. OK, it just depends on your guides, how you connect, um, what you enable is to what they just said. So be open to um, letting go of control of how things are going to work out. I'm getting control a lot, okay? Um, some of you are losing hope, and it's because you've waited too long. Things are moving slow, guys. I do agree. But at the same time, slow is better, okay, is what they keep saying. Slow is better. Just slow down. Somebody keeps saying um, everything is moving at a snail's pace. <laughs> okay. Yep. See, because this is for, this is the feminine. Okay. This is feminine, confident, assured, um, embracing the feminine. Okay. And while you embrace the feminine of not, you know, running towards, you know, um, the masculine and whatnot, you're using your um energies to attract to um pull in magnetically your masculine okay and it doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine okay um i mean gender wise does not matter okay guys this is about you are actually using your skills too so some of you might be doing you know i feel a lot of manifestation is going on now so those of you who have been working on manifestations, um, magic, whatever not, because this is esoteric, right? The esoteric arts, whatever it is, it's like you think that um, it's not working because it's not your, maybe you started like six months ago or whatnot, but it is working. But you know what activates your manifestations even more? Your energy. So while you're not doing manifest, what's your energy? Are you loving yourself? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you beautifying yourself? Are you, <clears throat> you know, um, nurturing yourself? Are you doing all those things? Okay. Um, some of you, this is about power too. This is about you having a passion for you. Okay, for your life, regardless of the masculine in, in it or not. Okay, because the more you love yourself, the more you are 
This is also enthusiasm, motivation to, to start something new. So some of you are being guided to start a business, okay? And you don't have the confidence to do so. But the more you focus on yourself, you will, okay? I don't know why I'm getting somebody is, I don't know who's if somebody's watching, like somebody's doing like either like, I don't want to say jewelry, maybe jewelry, but more like crafts when it has to do with a spiritual like lifestyle, like kind of like um, maybe you're doing like crafts when it has to do with some sort of healing, like crafts is what I'm getting, like making like these, I don't know, I'm seeing like little figurines or something. So um, you're being guided to this and you know it's like something that no lot, not a lot of people do. So it's like, it's only a matter of you being enthusiastic about your own life and doing your own business, starting your own business. And don't think like other people are doing it. I can't do it. No, don't see yourself so small. Whoever this person's energy I'm connected to, you can do it, okay? Anybody can do it. You just have to have the drive. See, the Queen of Wands has the drive, okay? Her energy is like anything is possible, I am full of fire, okay? And whatever is getting between me and my um, my goal, whatever it is I want, whatever it is I'm passionate, I'm going to burn it away, okay? I'm going to burn it. And at the same time, they also activate with fire too. So they activate their intentions with fire. So keep that in mind. Um, for those of you who um, you want to manifest things, use and you, you feel connected to what I'm saying, Use candles, okay? Because that's fire. Burning stuff, okay? Now, do it in a safe way. <laughs> I don't want to hear any phone calls, okay? Or, I mean, emails, I should say, with anybody. Um, or you making phone calls to the fire department, okay? Do everything safely. Um, This is really nice energy. I want to... Pick one more card. I'm going to do yellow. Okay, my yellow cards. So, I hope you all are doing well. This is the Angel um, Messages cards. This one, okay? For my Divine Feminine and Masculine account. Oh my God, look at this. Like, I can't make this stuff up. Remember how I said earlier, this is all about intention. Crystal clear intentions. We got Archangel Michael here. Love you. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So like I said, some of you are losing faith. But it all has to do with what your intentions are. This is three cards of intentions. Three cards, and I said things come in threes, right? Look at that. Three, intention. It's all about your intention. This is when you lose sight of your original intention. And we got that, wait, we got that with this, oh my God, four. Didn't we get it with the other spirit oracle cards? Yes. Where is she? Okay, hold on. Look. This was intention too. So I feel at this time that both of you are reflecting to a time when your what your original intentions were with one another, okay? And it doesn't matter what they were in the past. Now is what's important. What are your intentions now? So a lot of you have to really sit there and evaluate what your heart really wants, okay, with your person, exactly. And you need to speak those out loud. And you need to be honest with yourself and say why, why, why you want those things, okay? Because Michael doesn't mess around. Very straightforward. He's ma masculine energy, obviously. But um, very straightforward, like, this is what I want, and that's this is why I want it. You know, no messing around, no, um, I want this because of that. Don't lie to yourself. Just be honest with your guides. Be honest with spirit. When Intentions are prayers too, by the way. I just want to let you know that. 
you can call it what you will. You know, we pray in different ways. Everyone prays in different ways because of different spiritual beliefs or religious beliefs, but their intentions, okay? When you um, make an intention, are you being true to yourself about what you want? Because if you're doing intention through your mind or your ego, it's going to come out different than when you're doing it with your heart. What is it that your heart truly wants for you, for your person? What is it? You need to speak this out loud. You need to let the universe know. Because whatever intention you put out, it's like um, you need to make sure it's clear because um, that's when your manifestations will happen, okay? <clears throat> I don't know how else to put it. They're explaining it to me in that way. Um, they're just being straightforward. Like, listen, you need to say it out loud what it is you really want from your heart space. And some of you... Because your heart is not open at this time, you need heart healing. It's not fully open, okay? You're, that's why you're like, um, the intention is going into default. It's going into your mind and your ego, okay? So make sure to heal your heart um, and then speak. Then I ran out of space. Okay, so guys, the reason why they're saying, why Michael's saying this is because when you, when your heart is not open, okay, you, um, you manifest out of default, okay, so, so this is what I want to say, when your heart is not open, um, then you, your intentions are said through your ego or your mind, okay, and what happens then, like your logical mind, okay, or lack of, okay, let's just put it that way, um, what happens is the frequency is different, okay? So what he's saying is that when your heart is open, your frequency is high, okay? Your frequency is a loving energy. It's love consciousness, okay? So the frequency is so high that your manifestation um, your or prayers answered, call it what you will, is going to match what you're saying, okay? So there's a better match when your heart is open because of the frequency of it obviously if you manifest from the ego i mean you're gonna get the same kind of frequency back do you guys understand i hope you understand so basically it's about frequency alignment okay so raise it raise your frequency if your heart is still trying to forgive your mask and that's what you want okay um, I'm getting a lot of things about, oh, like, you know, whatever. There's no way. There's no other way, okay? You got to forgive your person. And it's fine. If you're taking a lot of, a long time, it's fine. But you're going to eventually have to forgive, okay, um, within your heart, okay? You got to release all that, all that pain, resentment, whatever it is, okay? Sadness. Um, and then when you're ready... Make your intentions crystal clear from your heart, okay? Um, like, you know what they're showing me? You know how um, some pictures are about the heart being lit up like a star, okay? That's, you know, the whole Christ consciousness that is the center um, in different, different beliefs. Think of it in a different way, okay? I've seen those pictures before, but that's what they're showing. I, I probably have like 10 of those pictures. I just can't find them right now. And um, so, but that's what is being said right now. That's what's needed, okay? So whoever is watching, focus on that um, while your masculine, you know, is going through a path of self-discovery, okay? So it's all about intentions now it's all about both of you realizing what you really want from your heart space okay it's from your heart space not anywhere else not i want you know her because she's hot i want her because you know she's amazing in you know whatever whatever it is guys it's not about that okay is what michael is saying <laughs> okay um, anyhow, I wish you all the best, my lovely soul lovers, and, um, 
If it's your first time here and you've liked this video or whether it's not your first time, don't forget to give me um, a thumbs up. Okay, this it does help the channel. Um, well, either way, even if you do a thumbs down, that's fine. I know who you are, by the way, who keeps giving me a thumbs down as soon as I post a video. Okay, don't waste your time. Um, I benefit from everything, just to let you know, good or bad. Okay, that's what um, path I have. Thank you. So anyhow, I wish you all the best, and I'll see you all next week, and I will be announcing the winner of the free reading contest um, soon, in tonight, most likely. Okay, bye!